Two, one. Alright, so my name is Black Cross and I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Well, um, I hardly do things like this, but once in a while, I mean, we just need to answer a few questions, you know? I've said time and again that I do not want to be part of any award scheme that has to do with voting to win. For me, it's a way of buying awards. Now, if you have an award scheme, you nominate some people, and then you ask the fans of these people that you have nominated to vote so that their favorite artist can win, then you go ahead and tell them, the more you vote, the more you place your artist on a higher pedestal of winning. And if the artist doesn't win, the biggest excuse they normally give your people didn't vote. So it becomes a vote to win award. It's not about merit anymore. You could be the best, but as long as your people do not vote, you would be the worst. So I decided that I would not part of, be part of these awards anymore. It's done, it's dusted. In the past, we're part of it. We enjoyed it, but when the consciousness hit us, we decided that it was all over. We will not do it again. Many people haven't come to that consciousness yet. I don't fault them. Everybody has their time. Their time will come. Well, I heard the CEO of, um, uh, what's the awards called? RTP Awards, you know, my very good friend, McKay, say that, oh, you know, Black Rasta, when he was winning the awards, he was so happy. And now he wants to collapse the awards. The name Black Rasta has, I'm one of those that actually gave him the name. Well, McKay, with all respect and with all love, you know that I will never do anything to destroy anything positive that you have started. With all respect, McKay, the things that you said, maybe you said them out of anger. He said, hey, Black Rasta, if you don't want us to nominate you anymore, bring back all the awards you have won. Wait, I'm going to return all of them to you. Show me where your office is. I will make sure that you get all of them. These are the awards. In fact, I told you earlier, several years ago, that the pole that was holding this one, it got broken. So this is the only one that I have. You promised that you were going to replace this. Now you wouldn't need to replace it. I'm going to return everything. Show me where your office is. You see, it's a matter of principle. I heard McKay say, oh, uh, yeah, and Black Rasta, you, you, you know, when you were winning it, you didn't complain. Now that you are not winning it, you are angry. No. Bosu, it's not about when I was winning it. I am the best reggae man on radio. Whether you like it or not, I don't need any endorsement. The fans have already endorsed me time and again. The whole Africa. I don't see anyone who does reggae on radio like me. It's confidence. It's not boasting. People who have listened to me from those times till now will tell you that this guy has no peers. I took my time to learn the trade. And by the Spirit of God, I've been able to move into it. That is why I am the only reggae presenter in the whole Africa that does primetime radio for four hours. Mention one more, the whole of Africa. Nobody. In Ghana, those who used to hold the fort are now relegated to the dawn time or late at night when people are fast asleep. I have no disrespect for them. I love them. That is where they are right now. Let us appreciate them even the more. But Black Rasta continues to be here from when I started. So it is not about competing for anybody to endorse me and tell me that oh, you are the best. I know I am the best. One man who sits on radio, I play my own music. I don't have any DJ playing for me. I do African history, one man. The same time, I do entertainment, news. At the same time, oh my God, I am able to come out with what is known as wisdom for the people to be able to pick up. 
including current affairs. One man. I don't bring guests on my show. Only once a week out of the five shows. So you should know that I am a man who does not need endorsement to know that I am the best. I appreciate you. Of course, when we started Radio in Accra, you had a program called Presenter's Guide. Make, I was part of it. I was the only reggae person. And from your own mouth, I came up the winner at the end of it all. But we didn't actually establish a winner because we had Mufti Dabre die and the whole thing became problematic. We didn't want to say, oh, this person won, that person won, that person won. So we ended up like, like that. In fact, that program added to my name. I'm not going to run away from it. And it was organized by, by you. It was on TV. I remember of K. Delay was part of it. And some other people. Abel Kusantana refused to be part of it. You know why? He said it was below his level. I remember Abel Kusantana's manager at that time, the late Fennec, called me and told me, Black Rasta, this thing is above you. Do not be part of this funny competition. I will never lie on a man who is dead. But I said, I hear you, but I still contested in presenter's guide. I was the only Rasta man, only reggae man amongst the lot. And that program was vote and win. People were voting. I remember at that time, delay was 13 votes. I got people to vote. And the Dusty was part of it. His bosses in Kumasi would gather money and vote for him. It was at that time I began thinking about it because I knew that, yo, <laughs> this is the top-notch guys, me. But, yo, I didn't have anybody to vote for me. You understand that? It started hitting me from that time, gradually, that this vote and win thing was something. But I do acknowledge the fact that, yes, you gave me a lot of name through Presenter's Guide, but remember that before Presenter's Guide, I was in WA doing radio progress, and I blew big there. I moved from where I was in Tamale, blew it big there. I was in Takrani, destroyed the whole Takrani before I came to Accra. So all this while, I was proving myself. That would not say that you didn't help me add some name to the Black Rasta brand. I appreciate that, you know I've always done it. When it hits me enough, I announced that I would not be part of any award scheme that would have to do with vote and win. Because for me, it's buying the award. If I don't have fans who would pay for the award, I wouldn't get it. You know the kind of award system I like? I want an award system where a board will sit down, nominate the people. If you want the public to be part of it, you can send questionnaires around. And then when you get your list of people who you want to nominate, then the board will sit down and nominate. At the same time, they would vote and tell that this is the winner. But they must give reasons why this person is the winner. So that if I have questions why I didn't win, I'll come to the board. At that time, you will not be able to tell me, oh, because your people didn't win. Cheap excuse of people not winning a award. You will tell me, we looked at this criteria, that, 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 and you fell short here, there, there, there. So this person deserved to win. It's cool. Even at the time of giving the award, it must be shown on the screen why this person is winning the award. That's the kind of award I want, not cheap vote and win award. And Make, you said, why didn't I tell you at the beginning that I didn't want the award? We all grow, boss. So when presenters got started, this was the first award I won. It had something under it. I told you it was broken, you know? When it started, how many categories did you have? Today, you have more than three times the categories. Why didn't you put all the, those categories at the beginning? You are growing. So when you are growing, new things come into your life. You start to abandon some things. And one of the things that I am abandoning, I don't want awards that are voted for. You dared me. You said, oh, if I don't want the awards, I should return them. I have told you time and again, 
don't nominate me. I've sent you message, messages, text messages via WhatsApp. Okay, this is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I don't want to be part of any vote and win award. Your award is okay. I will be part of it again if the vote and win thing is out. So I'm bringing back all your awards. I don't know where your office is. I have never seen your office. Show me where the office is or I will send this to the radio station where you granted that interview and said that I should return these awards. I'm going to return them. In fact, you've done me so much good. Today I have to call my little boy to wipe them all, polish them, so they will look nice because they were catching dust. With all respect, I know the fans are not going to be happy because they paid for this. In fact, I don't have to return them, but I am returning them. The fans know what I stand for. So I'm going to return all this radio reggae show host, host of the year 2012. The first one was this. I've forgotten what year it was. There was one that was supposed to go to Nam One. Yes, this one. So you gave it to me to give to Nam One. When I gave it to Nam One, he said, Black Rasta, keep it. I can't keep it anymore. I'll bring it to you so you look for Nam One and give it to him. That's what it is. So, Mackay, I've answered all your questions. It's not about anger. It's not about, hey, blah, blah, boom, 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 nothing like that. I don't want to be part of any award scheme, not only your award scheme, that has to do with vote and win. All Ghanaians know this. I came to that consciousness, not because of, you know, that thing that, oh, there was an award, and then they called somebody else, and I thought it was me, because the presenter delayed it. No, no, no. It, that thing has, it has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. I just don't want to be part of any award that has to do with vote and win. Because of that, I'm also returning Ghana Music Award. This one, I was in London for a short visit when it came. It says year 2004. Ghana Music Awards 2004. I'm returning it because it was also a vote and win award. This one too is here. Ghana Music Awards. I'm returning it. For them, I know where their office is. I'm going to package it nicely and put a letter in there and tell them, thank you for this, but no thanks. I don't want it. DJ's Award. I want two of them. I bought two of them, actually. The fans bought two of them. They are here. I know where I can find McRique. I'm going to return this to him with all respect. In fact, if you speak with McRique, he will tell you about eight years or seven years, I don't remember. I told him I wasn't going to be part of any award system that had to do with vote and win. He was the one who told me, oh, Black Rasta, uh, reconsider that. I won't go into details as to whatever he told me. But that's it. They are all going back to their owners. Base Awards, I won them. Also vote and win. I'm returning all of them. I don't know Bulldog's office, but I know I can find him at uh, Peace FM. He goes there every Sunday. So I'm going to package them nicely and then put a letter inside and give it to them. With all respect, I do not want to be part of any award that has to do with vote and win. I don't want this press conference to be too long. So I'm going to cut it short. Make you dead me that I should bring back this. <laughs> it looks like you've forgotten who I am. You have done me so much good. I return them to you. But remember, we are still good friends. When you change the award scheme from vote to win and get a board that will be responsible, because when the board chooses somebody who is the wrong person, the whole public will see that, no, the board didn't do a good job. And they would ask for an explanation. But with your vote and win thing, the explanation is always one. Your people did it for it. It's cheap. I don't want that. I'm a big boy. I've grown. I don't, I don't know what. All right. So it's not a big deal. I leave it here. All the people are going to get their things. And uh, we give thanks and ISIS. My name, Black Rasta. Bless and love.